Good. What are your vampires? Is it what? I just have... A lot of my friends basically accuse me of being a vampire because my favourite, favourite holiday is Halloween. Not Santa Claus. I Make jokes today. Hampshire, Isle of Wight, that was last Friday. We could see a lot more coming. Like Thames Water, for example. This controls an area which comes into effect. But the other issue is, as well, billions of litres every year. So that's that's on the other side, on the other side, maybe. The trouble is because... To run certain businesses as well, you need to ban. So there are, you know, certain areas of business that are going to, you know, get, get a different treatment. But, you know, Heathrow Airport, and it was so big, I think it was 75 fighters were thrown in from Heathrow, two Heathrow Airport could see this massive plume of disposable ones here. So people are just going into parks and whatever and starting them. And you can just imagine, it just takes one... You know, we saw what happened during the that was sparked then would be a really good move to make because we're having to work pretty hard at the central London and I don't fancy them um, jumping in the tent and in fact we should just spend in the shower so don't just you know stand in there for half an hour and then all you know enjoying it but you should now we know that the energy prices are just rocketing they're going they're going up again in October October the first yeah. and a lot of people they're already struggling to pay their bills and now there's this new campaign it's a movement direct debits or um you know just not not pay their bills until the energy companies bring down the prices and make them more affordable the risk though is of getting cut off so do you want to face a winter when you don't have any electricity or gas? You know, we're looking at this kind of fuel winter fuel crisis. That we're, we're seeing charities set up these heating hubs. So if you can't afford to heat your own home, you can go and sit somewhere in a church, for example, and be warm. And really, we're one of the richest countries in the world. We, we really shouldn't be expecting people to do this. It's got to be pretty, you know, resorting to pulling out their own teeth. Pain is simply too much. I mean, it's, I can't imagine that. You can't. Years ago, and certainly during lockdown, it, I personally yeah. or obviously don't want to be found more charity, which is obviously difficult for charities as well because they I'm a typical Londoner. I'm like, don't don't pop in, don't pop in on me. Don't look as number. I'm one of those people who's oh my god, I text first people. Yeah. You've uh, learned that Especially today. when I'm sleeping in my film and they have nothing on. And that the I think I'm a bit of a prude actually, because I wouldn't I see ninety one. There was about fifty what he thought. Name. <laughs> well no, I think other things would put me off more than the name. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The flannel on his hand. <laughs> true. And I know this is actually based on of cats. That was her thing, she hated them. Um, but my cat would make a beeline for her all that she would just come and, and this cat was just getting closer and closer and I, I think it's more discerning I would say I'm Lucretia Millerini how you doing well Good? I have to tell you I'm in a state of high excitement oh, because, yeah. <laughs> and therefore I've started following her on Twitter She's my biggest fan now. and I read she is a part-time <gasps> vampire Send them the rest of the news. No. This is a This Morning exclusive. It's not actually I agree. News. ITV News. <laughs> I agree. Only part-time. What, what, what is it? It's a joke. It's well, a joke, darling. It was a joke. joke. I'm not joke. really. You, you come from Ireland. Bram's... Yes. And I think to know... Oh, what do you mean? A bit of fun. That's what a modern vampire is. Yeah. It doesn't mean yeah. she goes around. So you're perfectly safe. I've got my Factor 50 on. I'm one. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I love but Christmas, I, I, I love That's it. the disappointment. And yeah. I love Easter, because I'm an Easter bunny at heart. <laughs> yeah. We should all... Thank gorgeous you. vampire. Shall we go... I think we've had the first story. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, they're, they're grass. The result, of course, is you have a garden line in yellow. It's a kind of double there, and there'll be a thousand pound fine. On their neighbour. Oh. Do you see what I did there? Grass, yeah. Uh, but it's interesting, we have seen those. We do, we can be quite funny when we want to be. Um, 15 million people. So we've got a lot of old leaky pipes and a lot of water side of the argument, isn't it? When people are saying, I can't water my garden, but you need to fix your pipes. Seriously. Yeah. And you think, well, mm. it's only going to last a few weeks. Just, you know. Yeah. Actually, there's quite serious. You know, when you think of just what it takes to that water, you like, like the gardening centres, there's a problem. We're looking at another heat wave for a potential 10 more days. Very hot weather. Mindful about, about water, aren't they? Yeah. I was and... at a barbecue last mm. night, organised by my son-in-law. Brilliant. Bar talking about, not actually, mm. they were congratulating their neighbours at AstroTurf yes. and yes. saying well about that. But they were concerned. It's on to our next door. Uh, as you say, on the weekend, very close to Heathy homes were affected. They were saved, luckily. But people fly home barbecues. So we're talking about the gardens being dry and arid. I mean, the parks are as well, and all these public spaces. People going flying off to Turkey and to, <laughs> to 30 degrees on Tuesday. 30 the Barbies at Christmas, aren't they? So and it's very hot there. So I just, I don't know. People just want to get out fun, there in the sandals, getting the barbecue going. It's a fun idea to be outside making going. something. Yeah, no, that's fun. It's but I'm with you. Fresh eating. Mm. But I'm back with a cu yes. cucumber sandwich. Nothing nicer. But do you think, uh, you see these big patches, don't yeah. you, of burnt, scorched ground that's left behind? And I think are thinking about it, considering it. And I think fire brigades are saying as well, look, this... People should just be sensible. Common yes. sense. And, and look around and think, oh, we don't need bands. We just need to trust the people. The shortage of mortar means more sharing the bath. <laughs>
how many times <laughs> that I now know anyway. And the latest, all you do is take a flannel, quite a rough one, mm. the water, just squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, while you're at it, you can I rough say? Flannel. Do your back, don't okay. you? Okay. Okay. Nice <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an erotic. <laughs> all sorts of things and possibilities are coming your way. Right, all right, extreme. But they are recommending this. Uh, no. But, um, no. Yeah, no, I think it's, yeah, Thames wants to sing yourself a song for four minutes, and that's the ideal time. That you woods today, <laughs> you better go in. Go down to the woods today. Go to shower. Oh, I was expecting a teddy bear. Well, it is bear anyway. Oh, I think it's marvellous. Let's embrace what's happening to us. Those pipe ban. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> let's move on to... This is, you know, obviously we are looking at... Well, we're living in a cost of living crisis, right? Children, pensioners... Say... <laughs> I follow Lucretia yeah. in her Twitter description of herself. Oh, no. Because, <laughs> can I say, it's more <laughs> interesting presented by a part-time... Hey, don't worry, you're all safe. Well, thank you for here. coming out during daylight. I'm... Stoker, one of the great <laughs> Dubliners, gave us Dracula. Mm. And it's a mythic character that has swamped the world. It's a look, it's been... No, we're not going to talk. No, just give... <laughs> Okay. It's as simple as that, right. guys. Into churches, I'm all good. I'm yeah. fine. You're a gorgeous fan. Yeah, all right. Shall we go on to our second story? <laughs> second story. Rooms. I remember this house pipe ban years ago. Can you remember that? We'll get to that again. I think this is the grass is no longer green. It's not even with it. The host pipe ban is. The question is, who's going to grass? We've already seen uh, host pipe bans uh, coming to force. It's just going missing. Um, Liters. Things always come to an end. Not everyone takes. Chap on Good Morning Britain. Yeah. Everyone's terrified to buy new businesses, of course mm. there is, yeah, and this week they're going to be exempt if there is a war. I think people are becoming a little bit more... Uh, but what was interesting is that they were... because they can be... Mm. Yeah, well, there was a huge fire, I think, just a moog, and this, they think, was set off by... And if you look at all the areas, we talk about our... when we hit those record temperatures a couple of weeks ago, all this... Fire... We're never happy. I mean, you well, know, the temperatures no. will climb from highs of 29 degrees today. Oh, yeah. So, like, why, why do you want to budge territory, no? It's Am tradition I wrong though, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, you see d down under, they're all... Uh, they're the sandwiches, all going back <laughs> nice. to Dublin, never mind Bram Stoker, Oscar Wilde. Uh, ...them to park oh, yeah. and they are leaving. As you mentioned, m have taken the move now. They introduced it in London, first of all, now they've gone national. Other supermarkets at the moment as well, so we can do anything to contain these kind of fires. But rather than having bans and legislation, mm. I think this, you know, yeah. we can't hose the garden, we're running short of water. For a week or two. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> given from the flannel bath. And, uh. Get a bit of a scrap. Now we get into weird websites. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't lived. <laughs> Amp our friend. It's it started weird. weird. Yeah. It's getting more. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I literally was saying use a flannel. And also, what was it? go in the shower. Yeah, be very. If you go down to the look a vampire <laughs> instead of going. Oh. oh, it's terrible. The weather's too hot. That's it's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> It's an interesting story. There's a bit of pills. Tell us more. Yeah, well, they don't pay UK, and it's basically encouraging people to cancel their... what the government can do to help these people. You know, they're, they're in des it's desperate yeah. times. It, it, something must be done. And I Boris Johnson is coming back today. But yeah. uh, an awful lot of dentists. NHS generally, but also dentistry. NHS dentist. And the so they're moving to the private. <laughs> we'll be discussing this later, my friend. <laughs> yes. Go in the shower. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, this society, we've changed so much. We protect ourselves and our home. Yes, they have. My door, and I don't know who it is. I'm, I'm, just, I'm almost. Uh, uh, and my run constantly all day long. Mm. I hire these yeah. people. Mm. Um, and why is in energy bills? Mm. It's been knocking on people's doors. I, I think that's. And I knocked on the door, and the man <laughs> <laughs> went back after 50 years. Been in is an app. But I'm from Bristol. <laughs> Lucrezia. I'm happy with <laughs> Don't ever pop in. Naturism booms in Britain. Yeah. Uh, British natures. Um, the, with naturism, are you going to be signing up? Well, I've been <laughs> following the lead. Are you not? No. Are you surprised I thought me? You would be. They're better wearing clothes. Yeah, you're right. So Look keep your clothes on. 